you have a lot more than just five senses. You know, sight, smell, taste, touch, hearing. You know, these are just the big ones that we tend to pay attention to the most. But we have, I, I read somewhere, up to 72 documented, scientifically documented senses. You may wonder, may wonder well, what are they? Well, there, there are other things that we don't always pay attention to as much. For example, our sense of proprioception. If you close your eyes, uh, where is your right index finger? Mine is right there. I'm not touching it. I'm not seeing it. I'm not smelling it. Now I am. I'm not hearing it. But I know exactly where it is without, without using those big five senses. That's your sense of proprioception, the sense of where your body is relative to itself. Okay? And we, we've got all these other senses like uh, kinesthetic awareness, bodily kinesthetic awareness, um, magnetoreception, the ability to sense magnetism from the mag magnetic poles. Now, that's not very strong in humans, but in some an animals like pigeons, it's super highly developed. That's why they're able to find their home when they're, they're released, uh, no matter where. They just circle around, they, they use their magnetoreception, and they, they know which way to go. Um, Cardio-electroreception, the ability to sense electronic signatures from the heart of animals. Now, this is not very highly developed in humans. We do have it to some extent, but some animals with much larger hearts, like horses or whales, they have a much, much more highly developed sense of cardio-electroreception. For example, have you ever heard somebody say, oh, the horse got spooked? Now, I don't know if you've ridden horses. I, I grew up in a small farming town, so I grew up around them a little bit. But if you're really nervous and really jumpy and you're scared to get on that horse, even if it's the nicest horse in the world, it gets kind of nervous and jumpy around you. Why? Because it's, it's sensing your heart. Because when your heart's going, bum, 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 with the nervousness, the horse hearts, it, it feels that. So again, we've got all these other senses, the sense of heat, the sense of temperature, the sense of pain, the sense of itching. These are all different than the sense of touch. So it's very important, especially for fighters, I think, to, to pay attention to the other senses because we, we want to we focus on what we see. But in a fight, you really don't see that much. In the striking phase, you see motion blurs. If you try to watch the hands, they're going to hit you. In the grappling phase, we see some dude's armpit in our face and, and, and like a, you know, some guy's chest in our mouth, and it's, it's like... Ugh. There's not a lot of visual context in a fight, so we've got to pay attention more so to what we feel. And that's not just the sense of touch. I mean, there are so many senses going on. And so many senses being distracted as soon as you get hit. So, again, we have so many more than five. So it's, it's fascinating to me that what we know about the physical universe is almost entirely based on one single sense that's the sense of sight. Astronomy, for example, is the study of light. The study of light. How we perceive one single sense, with one single sensory organ. I mean, how much else is there in the universe besides what we can see? I, mean, I already know in a fight there are so many other things that are so much more important than what we can see. So imagine, imagine what else there is in this universe besides what we are able to see, let alone perceive, with our 72 senses.